smallmouth bass, and northern fishermen's treasure. These fish are on a whole different level, with places like Lake St. Clair, Saginaw Bay, and Lake Erie. But today, I was reading up on some local inland lakes until I noticed this. The Michigan DNR listed this lake as the best smallmouth bass waters in my county. So you know, I have to go and test that statement. Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, I am fishing at what supposedly is one of the best smallmouth fisheries in my entire county. I was reading up on some lakes, like new lakes to fish, because I wanted to try some new waters. And I read that about this lake, that this is insane for smallmouth. So I'm like, me having my smallmouth fever right now, I was like, I gotta head out there and see if it's true. So that's what we did. We came to this river that I can launch on and make get access to the lake, since it is a private lake. But I can get access to this river with my kayak, so. That's pretty dope. That's one of the perks of having a kayak. Although fishing out of a boat is definitely amazing, but kayaks can be useful in these types of situations. But let's not waste any time. Get out to this lake and see if we can slay some smallies. <sighs> Made it on the other side of the river. That was quite the hike. I'm not gonna lie, that current was pretty strong. But now we're on the lake and I have no idea what to do. But we're gonna try to find these fish. I'm low-key probably just gonna look for like a drop-off edge right next to the mouth of this river because I'm pretty sure the smallies are like running up that river right now in the summertime as it is being super hot. But I'm thinking they might be stacked up like around the mouth of the river as well. But we're gonna try to find a little drop-off edge where it gets a little bit deeper because like I said, it is warm. So the fish are gonna be deep or probably in that river. And for bait, I have a net rig and a drop shot. About the only two things I ever throw for smallmouth. All right, here we go. We got the drop-off ledge coming. It just went from eight feet all the way down to 14 and counting. I really have no idea what I'm doing, but this is just kind of fun, you know, trying to learn some new things, figure out a lake. It is quite entertaining. That's what I love about fishing, just that chase and that search. It's so much fun. Oh my gosh, was that a fish? I don't even know, I think it was weeds. Yeah, there's some weeds down there, that's a good sign. Just love a good, a little bit of vegetation, never hurts nobody. Is that a fish? That is a fish. Yep, we got one. Yes, sir. What is it? Oh, he just came off. That was a small jaw. Dude, dang it. That was a little small. We got our first bite of the day, though. That is sick. Dude, and literally seven feet of water with some weeds. That's interesting. Is that a fish? That is a fish. Got him. Yes, sir. Come here, buddy. Come here. Is it a bronzy? Please be a bronzy. It's kind of fighting like one. That's for sure. Feels definitely bigger than the last one, dude. Dude, oh my gosh, did I find him or what? Oh yeah, he's fighting. Oh my gosh, there he goes. That's definitely a small jaw. That ain't no way that's a largey, but that's a good fish, whatever it is. Oh, yep, there he is. That's a, dude, he's not even that big, but he's just fighting. Dude, that's why smallmouth are just my favorite fish ever. They are so much fun. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Maybe they were right. This is the best smallmouth bass fishery in my county. I mean, I've literally been here for 20 minutes, completely new lake, and I've already had two fish. One of them got off, but got to land this beautiful one right here. He felt so much bigger just by the way he was fighting. I mean, he's maybe just one pound, but the way he was fighting was like he was a four. Let's just look at the colors in that fish. He is super, super dark. I just love smallmouth. They all have like their own unique coloring and every single one is like different. It's so sweet. All right, see you later, buddy. That's wild, absolutely wild. There's a fish, and dude, another one. This is a dink though. This, oh boy, <laughs> it's another small, oh my gosh. Dude, look at that pole right there. Dude, they just, I don't know, dude. I'm just, oh, wait, no, that's a largey. Dude, he pulled hard though. Oh my gosh, he's fighting hard for a large mouth. What the heck is going on right now? I don't even know what's happening. Oh, dude, settle down, buddy. There he goes. He ain't a smallie, but he definitely fought like one. I mean, I'm, I found something out here, that is for sure. I mean, I haven't caught an absolute stud yet, but they're fish, and that's what you like to see. Build some confidence on some new water. Beautiful largey. See you later, bud. I, I'm like in shock of how that largemouth fought so much like a smallmouth. I mean, those poles, those runs, that jump, just resembles smallmouth, but he was a largey. He's trying to fit in around here. Oh, I got smacked. Oh my. Snapped me clean off, dude. Is that a pike or something? I don't even know. I know there is pike in here. I did read that. It's probably what it was. Dude, that's insane. Literally set the hook, felt like a rock gone instantly. I'm mad that thing broke my line. That was big, dude. 
That was a big fish. I'm gonna switch them to a drop shot just because I'm kind of curious if they want that like bigger presentation. Maybe I'll catch a bigger fish. I don't really know, but we're gonna try it. You know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, the Ned rig's not broke, but I'm fixing it. Dude, I think that was a pike. Something just surfaced right out of the water. Dude, why didn't I bring any top water? I think they would absolutely munch that right now. I've seen a lot of fish surface and I've also heard a lot too that I didn't see. There's definitely activity on the surface of this water. I thought I had a popper, but I don't, which is unfortunate because I left it in the boat. Oh, there's a bite. There's a fish, yep. Oh my gosh, dude. I lost him again. You gotta be joking me. Why do I keep losing all these fish? I thought that was a good hook set too, but I guess not. Dang, go. I'm getting, I'm getting upset right now. I'm losing too many fish. I'm two for five right now. That's not like, that's not okay with me. Less than 50% hookup ratio. It's not gonna fly, dude. It's not gonna fly. Oh, there's a fish. Oh my gosh, that feels like a big one. Yep, come here, buddy. Come here. Oh yes. Oh yeah, come on, dude. It's freaking, let's land this one, dude. I don't wanna lose another fish. It's kind of feeling like a largey, not a smallie, but I'll take it. I'll take any, oh yeah, there we go. Come on, buddy. Oh, my worm just got shook off. All right, oh, ow, ah, ah, ah. All right, yeah, it's a little largey. We're looking for the smallies, but I'll definitely take these guys for sure. I'm just happy I got to land this guy, that's all. Nothing big, but I'll definitely take him. Beautiful largey right there, dang you. Yeah. All right, see you later, bud. Here, smallie, 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 where are you at? I know you're here. And there you are. There it is. Come here. Dude. Oh, it's a largey. Gosh dang it. I thought I had the calling down perfect, but I called the largies. Come here, bud. Oh my gosh. He's fighting though. Dude, I'm so, I can't land fish this way. I usually use my left hand, but I literally, my thumb's all destroyed. So now I got to use this thumb. Which I'm not used to landing fish this way. Now oh, there he is. Little bugger largemouth. Third largemouth of the day. Only got one smallmouth and supposedly the best smallmouth lake. So what the heck's going on here? I think I gotta switch up where I'm fishing. I'm fishing like seven feet of water. I mean, that's where I caught the smallmouth too. So I don't really know what's going on. I mean, it's not a big largey, but I'll take them. It's a fish on the day. See you later, bud. There's a fish, yep. Yes, sir, what is it? Please be a smallie, dude. I'd feel so smart if this is a small mouth. If it's a large mouth, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna like feel like myself again. Gosh dang it, dude. Another tiny little small mouth, uh, large mouth. Dude, I'm just catching dinky large mouth. I thought this place was supposed to be good for small mouth. I had some high hopes at the start of the day when I slayed those two small mouth right at the beginning. And now I'm just catching little largies. I mean, I, like I said, I'll take them. But I'm just like trying to find these smallies because apparently this lake's like known for them. I could be fishing in the wrong areas. I'm not too sure. I mean, this is my first ever time at this lake. All right, there's one spot on this lake that's really intriguing me. It's like a nine foot island that's, oh my gosh, there's giant waves. Everybody look out. Everybody look out. Oh my gosh. Dude, oh my goodness gracious. I'm terrified right now. Oh my gosh. Where did these come from? Who is the culprit? Dude, I'm, I'm literally ter- Why is there so many? Holy crap, guys, I'm, I'm scared right now. I'm scared. Don't move, don't move a muscle. What am I supposed to do? I don't even know. Dude, I'm lit- Oh my gosh. Holy crap, guys. As I was saying before I got interrupted, there's this one spot, it's like an island, it's like nine feet, but all around it is 20 feet, and it's just right out there somewhere. So I'm gonna go try to find it. There's just a tiny island out here. It's nine feet. Let's see if there's something posted up on it. I don't know. But all around it is like 25, 26 feet. Is that a bite? That is a bite. Oh my gosh. Dude, that was a nice old bite. Is that another large? Why am I catching largies? I mean, I like catching largies, but I was trying to get some smallies, man. <laughs> all right, come here, bud. 
if I can land them with my broken thumb. Just kidding, it's not broken, but it's pretty messed up. Anyways, got ourselves another little RG with this beautiful sunset in the background. Such a nice way to finish off the evening. Hopefully we can get a few more. I mean, I have like 10 more minutes and then I gotta dip on out of here, but we're gonna keep on cranking. Number four on the day for largies. Still only landed one smallmouth, I, I hooked two. I mean, regardless of if we're catching smallies or not, I'm having a really good night at a new lake. Is that another? That's another bite. Come here, bud. Yep. Oh my gosh, he's running right at me. He's running right at me, whatever it is. Running straight at me. All right, there he goes. There's his head shake. Oh my, dude, he almost, oh my gosh. Why did he pull so, oh my goodness gracious. Dude, he was running straight at me. And now I feel all this force. This has to be a small mouth. Has to be, literally has to be. There's no way it's not. <laughs> dude, I think it is, but goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, dude. That thing was running right at me. And now once he got to the kayak, oh my gosh, that burst of energy has to be a small mouth with these digs. Where is he? Yep, there he is. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got him. One more bronzy on the day. I mean, he ain't an absolute stud, but the way that thing was fighting, that's why smallmouth definitely are like the hardest fighting fish, pound for pound, like freshwater. Like, changed my mind. You can't. You really can't. I mean, I haven't caught a steelhead yet. That might be the only thing that changes my mind. But absolutely love to see it, dude. Finally, got another smallie on the day. I mean, that's what we came here to target. And as you can see, just by the fight of that fish, why I want to catch these things so bad. Like, they are just so much dang fun. All right, buddy. It sends you on your way. But I'm going for steelhead this fall. Y'all just stay tuned for that video. Dude, I might come back out here tomorrow. I honestly might. Give this lake another go. I see so many fish busting on top water. I see, oh my gosh, that's another fish. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, he's running at me. Why do they do that? They run straight at me. This one feels like a largey. Yeah, I mean, dude, <laughs> you can just easily tell when it's a largey. Like, look at this dude. He's barely even fighting. Like, oh, oh gosh, what are you gonna do, buddy? What are you gonna do? You gonna fight for your life or just let me catch you? You're just gonna let me catch you, that's fine. I hate to just roast largemouth. I love largemouth, don't get me wrong, but like, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But that was sweet, dude. <laughs> this lake is absolutely loaded with fish. I haven't got nothing like very big yet, but there's a lot of fish in here. My fifth largey on the day and two small ones. I have seven bass so far, and I've only been out here for like two and a half hours. See you later, bud. I think it's safe to say I will definitely be back to this lake. Well, that lake was pretty dope. I mean, for a new lake catching seven fish in two hours, I think that's pretty good. I definitely found them. I wanna go back out to that lake, maybe tomorrow or the next day, y'all stay tuned for that. Came back to that drop off ledge that I ended off the night yesterday and I'm gonna try here again because I got on that like two pound smallmouth so I'm hoping I can find some more. I also brought a popper today so if it starts to calm down during the evening I'm definitely gonna whip out some top water and see if I can get some top water eats because that would be insane. Oh there's a bike. There's a fish. Got him. Come here sir. What is it? Is it another little largey dude? Or is it a smallie? I don't even know. Looks like a largey. Yeah there he is. Dude, what is with all these little one pounders in here? Settle down. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. There's just a ton of these tiny little largies, man. I mean, it's fine, I'll take them, but I I'm looking for the small jaws. fish yep on the popper dude there we go come here buddy <laughs> dude like literally third cast when i switched it to the popper i just wanted to see if they were hitting top water and sure enough they are dude that was crazy i didn't even see him bite it though i don't even know what that just happened i think it's a largey he's not fighting like a small jaw 
But either way, it's it's definitely one of the bigger fish I've caught out on this lake so far. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, there he goes, dude. There he goes. Oh yep. Yeah. Wait, no, that is a smallie. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh yeah, he's fighting like a smallie. Now look at this thing. Look at him. Just look at him pull. I can't even like gain on him, dude. Absolutely wild, these fish. Absolutely wild. Up he goes. Yes, sir. Maybe the smallmouth are hitting top water. And I might be getting onto something. Well, that is a beautiful smallmouth. I don't know why they fight so dang hard in this lake. I'm so glad I got to connect on one. Hopefully we can get a few more on the night and just keep on getting these bronzies. And if it's on top water, that's just gonna be even bigger bonus because these fish are already enough fun as it is. But if you throw in top water in the mix, it's gonna be even more insane. See you later, babe. Oh, dude, that was a big smallmouth. He completely missed it. Yeah, as you can tell, I'm, I'm just leaning back right now. I'm just relaxing, having a grand old time. Trying to slave some smallies all on top water. No way I don't get crushed on this popper right now. Completely glass calm, have this beautiful sunset in the background. Now all I need is a bronzy to smash my popper and this would be like top 10 moments of my life. <laughs> but honestly though, honestly though. kind of curious are they hitting the ned rig on the bottom because i haven't got a bite on the popper in quite a while even though this is like the best looking conditions ever to fish a popper but they're just not hitting it for some reason there's a fish oh my gosh my drag is so loose so loose dude that hook set was probably terrible it is terrible my drag dude oh my gosh i don't know what's going on this fish if he if well if i land them that'd be dope come here buddy just a little largey Oh, oh, calm down. There we have it. That's the way he choked that Nedrick, dude. For some reason, they're not hitting top water, which doesn't make much sense because there's so much commotion, like a bunch of little bait fish jumping around and everything. But I guess they don't want that top water. Anyways, I'll take a little largey, do a backflip. See you later. Let's get back out there and try to catch some more. I'm really trying to get another small jaw on the day. There's another fish, literally the next cast. Literally the next cast. Come here, bud. Oh, yep. Yeah. just another, oh my gosh, there he goes. Down she goes. Just another little largey. Oh, you're gonna have to settle down, buddy. Well, I'm slamming the little largies on the net rig. Eh, it's a small. Oh my, just broke my line, didn't it? Dude, what was that? It literally, as soon as it hit the water, Snap my line clean. Probably another pike or something. Dude, literally as soon as that one hit the water too. Dude, I found the bite or something. What the heck? Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh. He's running at me. He's running at me. I found the bite tonight, dude. Right before sunset, we found him. Come here. Another little largey. Just look at the way he crushed that netter. He wanted it. All right, one last look at this guy. Send him on his way. Let's get back out there, dude. There are so many fish. Well, I'm off the water now. And was this the best bass fishing lake in my county? Honestly, it was a pretty good lake for smallmouth. I will give it that. I didn't catch as many as I would have thought for being the best. But also, I didn't really give this lake a lot of time. I only fished it for like maybe five hours combined with yesterday and today. And I caught a lot of fish. It was definitely a really good lake. And a lot of inland lakes don't really have too much smallmouth. So this one did produce quite a bit for only fishing here for, like I said, like five hours total. So if I figure this lake out and spend more time out here, I can definitely see it producing a lot of smallmouth. But I'm just kind of like comparing it to Lake St. Clair. So it feels like really mediocre because like Lake St. Clair is just on a whole next level for smallmouth. But for a little inland lake around me, I will give it. It definitely was a pretty good smallmouth bass lake. But if you guys want to see me come back here, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want me to explore some new lakes uh, instead of fishing the same ones I always fish, uh, let me know in the comments down below as well. And if you did enjoy this one, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Uh oh, can somebody come and save me? I just wanna know. I wanna know.